Hey guys, this is Pete from Mold3D Academy back with another Substance Designer tip. Today I'd like to show you what I believe to be the best way to speed up your workflow when working in Designer. It's super easy and once it's all set up, I guarantee you'll never want to go back to the old way. I'm going to show you how to bind node creation to shortcut keys. And the reason you want to do this is because it's kind of a pain in the butt to keep having to go back into the library view or hitting the space bar to get a levels adjustment, you know. Um, when you're just trying to get stuff done real fast, shortcut keys are the way to go. And as far as I know, Substance Designer 2018 doesn't support shortcut keys yet. So I'm going to show you how to do it in a really cool way. If you open a browser and go to www.autohotkey.com and just hit download. Now what this is, it's a free open source scripting language for Microsoft Windows. And pretty much you're just going to be making macros to automate tasks. We're going to only be using this in a case of Substance Designer though to just send keystrokes and emulate that spacebar levels enter workflow. So if I go to the documentation here, which is in autohotkey.com slash docs slash hotkeys.htm, this pretty much tells you the kind of syntax for the scripting language. So this simple little script right here, it's just three lines of text you're going to have in something that's like a notepad document. And pound n colon colon, that's just telling autohotkey that when the user hits the Windows key and n, it's going to run notepad. And that's it. What we're going to do is something like this, where it's send and then a line of text. And what this is, it's going to send keystrokes to the active window. So I'll show you how that works. If you go to like a documents folder or some folder in Windows, right click, do new auto hotkey script, and we'll do SD keys. Right click, edit script, and let's remove all that. I want to set up my hotkeys that take advantage of where my left hand is on the keyboard. So, you know, it's around WASD, so I'll probably do something like Alt 1, 2, 3, QWE, ASD, ZXC. And in a document, it says the Alt key is governed by the exclamation point. Okay, so let's do exclamation point 1, colon, colon. And again, that's just saying when Alt 1 is pressed, do the following. We'll do send, comma, curly bracket, space, curly bracket, and we'll do levels, enter. Let's put a space bar in between there. Well, no, that's fine. And we'll do return. And that return here is important because we need to tell auto hotkey when the script ends. So that's basically it. So we'll just do file save, go back, double click on that SD keys and you'll know it's running because there's a little green H that shows up in the lower right corner of your Windows taskbar. So now just switch back, switch back to designer, select your node in the graph and just hit Alt 1 and boom there's your levels adjustment. Real easy. Let's, um, let's do blend now because blend is something we use all the time. Exclamation point 2, send, space, blend, enter return. Save that, switch to documents, double click on the keys. And this is going to ask, hey, do you want to replace the older script that's running with this one? And yes, you do. So hit yes, go back to designer, alt two, there's your blend node. That was super fast. You can put them in all day long. Anything that you know has a name here in this list, you know, grunge, you know, grunge map zero zero one. Let's you know, let's do that one with alt whoops alt three send space grunge map zero zero one enter return save. Don't forget to reload alt three. Whoops, there it is. Grunge map 001. Yeah. Nice. And you know, it doesn't have to be bound to the Alt key. If you just go back to the documentation, there's other options. There's you know the caret for control and plus for shift. You can combine them. You could do control alt one, two, or any button you wish. So you could do pretty much anything you want.
The other thing I need to warn you about is that it's, this is running in Windows, not just Substance Designer. So if I you know, open Notepad and hit Alt-1, it's going to type all those macros. <laughs> so if you're in any program like Max or Maya, you definitely want to disable these shortcut keys by right-clicking on that H. You can either suspend the hotkeys or just exit altogether, and now they won't run anymore. Give this a try. It's an awesome way to work in Substance Designer, and I uh, hope you really enjoy it. Thanks.